Hey everyone, it's Barb, and today I'm going to show you a time-lapse demo and review of Derwent Lightfast paper using Derwent Lightfast colored pencils. This is going to be a two-part series, so stay tuned for my next video, which will be on the Derwent Inktense paper using the Derwent Inktense pencils. For this video, I'm going to do a time-lapse demonstration using both the Lightfast pencils and paper while I tell you a little bit about each. One of the most common questions asked by beginner colored pencil artists in Facebook forums revolves around what pencils to buy and also what paper to pair it with. Derwent recently released specially formulated papers that pair with their Lightfast and Inktense line of products. Some of the Lightfast paper features include that it's 100% cotton, it's hot pressed paper, it's 300 GSM or 140 pound, it's a natural white color, acid free, and artwork won't fade for up to 100 years when it's used with Derwent Lightfast colored pencils. It's also designed to maximize the performance of the pencils. This paper has pretty standard features you would expect from an artist grade paper, and to the touch feels similar to a Legion Stonehenge paper. I like that it's heavier weight as well, which means it should be able to withstand multiple layers of colored pencil and some light mixed media and solvent usage. Lightfast pencils have been becoming increasingly popular with artists as another oil-based colored pencil option. If any colored pencils in the entire universe of colored pencils are going to be Lightfast, it better be the ones that are specifically called that. Thankfully, they live up to their name according to the color charts available through the Derwent website. Some of the Lightfast pencil features include that they're formulated to be 100% Lightfast, Artwork will not fade for up to 100 years under museum conditions. They're oil-based and vibrant. All colors are made with raw minerals and pure pigments. They can be mixed on the page to create a paint-like effect. And they comply with internationally recognized Lightfast testing standards, the ATSM D6901 and the Blue Wolf Scale ISO 105. If you want me to do a video to learn more about what Lightfast ratings are, why they're important, and what the ATSM and Blue Wolf scales are, leave me a comment down below. I'm really liking this Derwent Lightfast paper. The color laid down was smooth, and I didn't feel like I was struggling to fill the tooth or whiteness of the page. The pencils themselves certainly have a buttery and slightly oily feel to them on paper. To me, they feel like a cross between a polychromos and a Prismacolor colored pencil. That may seem like a lofty statement, but you really have to try them to understand what I mean. On some paper surfaces, they can almost feel like a harder oil pastel. While details and blending are fairly easy, there's enough tooth that it was a fair amount of work to completely fill the cream color of the paper. I can tell by the feel of the pencils that the combination of these two products seem like they would work really well with a Gamsol or an equivalent solvent for blending. I didn't use a solvent for blending in this particular piece, but I would definitely recommend trying it out if you get either one of these products. I thought the colors blended really well into one another though, just using a dry blending technique. One thing to note if you aren't using any blending aids or a solvent in your piece is that you will likely need to build up a lot of light layers of color to achieve the look you're going for. I chose to use a finesse alcohol-based blending pen over my finished work, but I would recommend testing this out with your blender of choice to see which has the best result for your preference. Here's a look at my finished drawing. The paper didn't warp, it was really great and maintained its structure throughout the process. The price tag on either of these products can be a little steep, so if you're not sure, I would purchase a smaller pad of paper or a smaller set of pencils and try it out and see if you like it first. If you're one of my Patreon subscribers, you can see an in-depth time lapse on how I created this piece. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.